Hello, this is the first video on the set of tutorials on YubiKeys. Um, every YubiKey that's manufactured from this point going on, and has been for a while, has a built-in feature called Universal Second Factor, U2F. Here it is. There's a cheap type of YubiKey which pretty much only has that feature on it, or the rest of them have a lot of features, including U2F. So before I start showing you the software, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use U2F with your YubiKey on websites that support it. Now this is a new standard, um, and more and more sites are accepting it, but it's going to take a while. But uh, Gmail, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Reddit, there's several places that do enable it. But I'm going to use Gmail in this example. So here's what would normally happen. I would type in my email address. Click Next. Type in the password. Press Next. And now I'm in. So if somebody was able to guess my super secure password, huh, they would have access to my email. So now they could go and generate lost, you know, I forgot my password links from all different websites all over the internet, and they would be able to change all my passwords and do things on those sites. So here's what you can do from this point. You're in your Gmail, you click on the little icon at the top right, go to Google account. This is your main Google settings. So click here where it says signing in to Google. And on the right, you'll see two step verification. So we'll click on that. It gives you some information here that this is an extra level of security. So click get started. Then we need to enter our password again. Okay, so using a phone is technically a second factor because it's something that you have. But the problem with using text messages and phone calls is they can be intercepted by you know bad guys with the right kind of technology. And um, I think it was Reddit recently had a breach of some of their staff accounts because the SMS text messages were hijacked and somebody was able to get by them. So that's why they've implemented uh, U2F. But if you look here, you've got choose another option. And if you click that, you can click on security key, a small physical device used for signing in, hence the YubiKey. So we'll press that. Now we see this. It says uh, you've got to make sure you've got it with you. So I do. I have it plugged in. So I'm going to hit next. Now it is going to ask me to tap the side of this. So I'm going to do that. And because I'm using the Chrome browser, I've got a notification here uh, that I've got to allow it to make use of my YubiKey. So I'll hit allow. Okay, so it's registered. Now, if I want to, I can give this a name. So I'm just going to call it YubiKey Neo because that's what the product is. That's my particular YubiKey that I'm using for this demonstration. So now I have added a second factor. And if you want to, you can generate backup codes um, as a, an, an emergency if you really want to and write them down. But now that I've got two factor on, I'm going to show you the difference. So I'm going to unplug my YubiKey. I'm going to sign out. <coughs> okay. Okay, so. Now I've got to put in my password. But now I see this screen. Um, and it says that I've got to put in a security key and be able to get past this step. Now, by default, this is ticked. That means that if you leave this ticked when you use your YubiKey, you shouldn't need to go through this process again on that particular computer. Uh, but if you're outside the house, 
uh, using someone else's computer, you should always untick this, uncheck it. So now I'm going to plug in my YubiKey. And now I'm going to tap the contact on the side of my YubiKey. And now I'm logged in. So the only thing that's different is I had to plug in my YubiKey and tap on the side of it. It's as simple as that. And ironically, it's extremely secure because what's happening behind the scenes is um, the YubiKey is generating encryption keys based on the particular website that you're on. So this can't be fished by a hacker, which means a hacker manages to get you onto like a fake Gmail site and it's maybe called like qmail.com but you don't notice you don't see it um, because all the information is at, on Google's end so if a hacker was to try and use your YubiKey it's not going to match anything that Google have on file so Google is sending some information to the YubiKey the YubiKey is then signing that information and sending it back so that when Google receives that blurb back, it can actually check it and make sure it was actually the real same YubiKey that was um, originally registered with the account. So now, if somebody manages to guess my oh-so-super-secure password, which really isn't, it doesn't make any difference, because even though it's an easy password, they don't have this YubiKey. And this is a super easy method of being able to have two-factor authentication on sites that have this feature. 